Hi, and welcome to this virtual Microbes on the Move program. My name is Mira, and my friend Anna and I are excited to learn with you all about magnification. Magnification is a word used to describe the process of making small things appear much larger than their actual size. There are many different tools that scientists use to make small things appear big. Scientists that study microbes, or tiny organisms like bacteria and fungi that cannot be seen with the naked eye, use microscopes. There are a lot of different microscopes, and maybe you've seen or used a compound microscope like this before. I wanted to share with you a microscope that I use here at the museum. This is a USB microscope. I plug the USB microscope into a computer, and once it is plugged in, an image appears on the screen. That image is a close-up of what the camera lens of the USB microscope is looking at. The coolest thing about the image is that it's actually live. I can look at samples of living microbes moving and it's all so big. My favorite thing to study using the USB microscope are samples of pond water. Here's a video of pond water that I collected and studied from KU's Potter Lake. Can you spot any microbes in this water? Do you notice tiny living organisms moving in the sample? What other materials can you think of that make small things appear big? Maybe you thought of a telescope? Telescopes can make objects far away like the moon or other planets appear bigger. Or maybe you thought of a magnifying glass, which can be held above an object at a certain distance from the eye and make the object appear larger than it actually is. Microscopes, telescopes, and magnifying glasses all make things appear larger than they actually are. What do you think these different tools have in common? Take a moment to think about that, and in the meantime, let's go to Anna, who will teach us how to create a magnifying tool using some items you might have at home. Place some water droplets on an area of the item that you want to magnify. I used the barcode because it was the smallest font. Look at the object you are trying to magnify through the pool of water droplets on the transparent item. What do you notice about the parts covered by the pool of water droplets? Do they look bigger or smaller than the surrounding parts of the object not covered by water? Carefully lift the transparent item with the pool of water droplets. Does lifting the transparent item change the appearance of the object? How cool is that? I'm so excited to use my new magnification tool to magnify objects, like this book. What do you notice when I place the magnifying tool over my book? Do the letters and words appear bigger? Earlier, I asked you about the different tools that scientists use to make objects bigger, like microscopes, telescopes, and magnifying glasses, and what those tools have in common. What do you think these different tools have in common? All these tools use lenses to bend light, which causes things to appear differently. Light bounces off objects and it travels straight to the eye. If light bounces off an object but is bent before reaching the eye, the light does not travel in a straight line and will appear differently. How does this relate to the magnifying tool we made? In our activity, droplets of water were used to magnify an object. The pool of water droplets on the transparent item are curved and so they are shaped like a dome. This convex shape bends light inwards, which makes an object appear bigger than it actually is. So what about a lens that isn't shaped like a dome? If the lens is the opposite of a convex, then it is not shaped like a dome. We call this concave. A concave lens bends light outwards, which makes the object appear smaller than it actually is. It's amazing to think how the shape of a lens can alter how an object appears. Did you learn a lot about magnification today? I know I did, especially how lenses can magnify small things like microbes. Stick around for more microbes from the KU Natural History Museum doing their virtual Microbes on the Move. 